Well, as I mentioned, crime and punishment, our topic tonight, the number 855 law 1955. Lavinia Borum is our guest attorney tonight. And Lavinia, we have Darren over in Anniston who is on the line ready to talk with you. So Darren, good evening to you. How are you this evening? I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, well, good. Well, we're glad that you're calling in and here to help. So if you will, go right ahead with your question. Hey, Miss uh, Borum. I was asking, uh, first of all, I appreciate everything you've done for me as far as getting a case that was um, dismissed over 15 years ago. Wow. Um, and I was wondering that um, how long would it take the database for the like the federal system to, you know, you got my case expunged. How long does, this, does that take after the hearing on the dismissal slash expungement to hit the database for the federal system? Okay. Well, hello, Darren. I think what you're asking is once the case is dismissed, how long it actually takes to go through the system, the process, um, for your case to actually show that there is nothing there. I'll tell you this. It takes a while because law enforcement has to get the information, okay? Once the courts complete everything that they need to do and the information is sent through the systems, um, your record will definitely be clear. But sometimes it takes a while, so give them a little minute and it'll go through. And is there a new law pertaining to, is it expungement? Expungement. Or? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk a little bit, because some folks at home may not know exactly mm -hmm. what that means. So can you talk about what exactly expungement is and how the law works, uh, especially the new law that's in effect? I'll tell you how it works. So let's just say you have a case that's been dismissed. Okay. Um, once that case has been dismissed, usually if you go for a job, they'll see that you possibly charged with a crime, however, it'll show that it's been dismissed. Once your case is expunged, it won't show on your record at all. Um, in Alabama, there are certain cases that will qualify for an expungement, but there are also cases that will not, such as sex offenses and um, violent offenses. So you want to make sure that your case qualifies for expungement before actually filing for one. And is that a pretty lengthy process or a difficult process to get your record expunged? Well, I don't think it's a difficult process. Okay. I think that there's procedure and protocol that you must follow because different agencies have to check um, different sources to make sure that you actually qualify for that expungement. Okay, wonderful. Um, you had a question, Kirby. I did. Um, when you had mentioned earlier probable cause, and, yes. and that is so very important. It is. And I wanted you to explain to, to the audience what exactly probable cause is, what that phrase means, yes. and then where in the process does it begin to matter? So the police may come yes. and talk to you but not arrest you. Mm -hmm. So talk to us a little bit about probable cause and how that plays into what may or may not happen to you down the road. Sure. Probable cause is going to be whether the officers had enough to arrest you. You'll notice that sometimes an officer may talk to you, but you won't go to jail. But if they have enough information, they will take you to jail, and that's where probable cause begins. But I want you to remember this. Just because there's enough probable cause does not mean that they can prove those elements beyond a reasonable doubt when it goes to trial. Probable cause is a very low threshold when it comes to um, the burden of proof and then weighing it against beyond a reasonable doubt. And we talked a little bit earlier about that that burden, that reasonable doubt burden, yes. and what that all that entails. So, great way to tie yeah. all that back back together. 